welcome back to another Archicad speed modeling tutorial quick coffee tip today I will show you some graphic overrides which you can use for presentations for the clients they actually are very easy to do and look pretty special I think all right let's go to our document graphic override combinations I show you quickly I got a simple unit complex and we just do something with this now all right let's go to documents graphic override combinations all right what we do is here we create a new one and the first one I like to create I call it wall internal and make it 50% uh, 50% transparent transparent okay let's write this correctly all right I want a new combination that's fine so we can add some rules here which are sort of the default architect rules which you can see is pretty much the way to the drafting you know in your floor plans or elevations so I like to do 3d rules of course so I need to add a new one create a new rule and this one is called internal 50 percent that'll do for now and I click OK now we have to edit rules you can click in there or in there that doesn't matter and we start up with down here anything you want to override like i said we're doing 3d modeling so for me this is not very important so i'll go straight down to my surface before i do this you gotta say all types in this case i can keep that wall that's fine and i add obviously i need something on the layer so we go to layer add and I like to add the internal wall layer, which I like to make transparent. So I created a surface for that, which is over here somewhere. There we go, transparent. And I click OK. So if I choose this combination now, my internal walls should show up 50% transparent. So let's have a look if that works. Go in there. And you can see you can choose them in here the overrides i start with no override let's go and have a quick look that's just a normal one and in theory we should be able to see now if i override that the walls internal should get to 50 percent wall internal 50 percent there we go so you go inside now and you can see that it's very handy so you can move around the house in the unit a lot more easy and it will show you the walls transparent okay so that's quite easy let's do another quick one with the same with the external walls i will speed this up for you as this is exactly the same before i do a more complicated one so let's just have a look okay and there you go it's already doing it because I haven't had to choose it. So which is again, pretty cool. So you can really move around. You can see the exact construction of your model very nicely. Okay, I'd like to show you another one, which is um, a transparent roof, but I like to show the transparent roof with the internal walls in red. So that's a little bit different because you have to create more than one rule for it. So let's go to graphic override combination we add a new one and I just call this roof okay and we add a new rule which I call roof transparent 50% and I like to add another one which I call add internal walls collection oh, walls as we have over there 
internal and we call them red. Now the first rule is as before we will types that's fine and you add the layer of the roof which I have a couple so I have to take two of them. I've got the main roof and another, another one which is again down here this one and I overwrite this with my 50% transparency. So if I go OK for now and go OK, there's no rule yet, it should only show my roof transparent. There you go. OK. And while we are, you can see I've got the ceiling slab here, which I know on which layer it is. So I would like to add the ceiling slab. I show you if you're not sure what layer it's very easy because sometimes you work along work along and there's lots of layers you're not sure anymore so what we do is just click on here you see the seating slabs now just keep it selected go into your combination open this and add this layer to it so this layer and you can see it's still selected seating slabs O2 O2 there we go and okay okay there you go so now that looks pretty cool already. So the next step, as we said before, the rule, I like to do those internal walls red. So this is why I created another override rule, which is this one here. So we edit this one and I want only the internal layer, which is internal walls. And this one we change to red. So if I click OK now, our walls should be ready inside. There you go. Okay, so that's really simple, those override rules, and you can access them anytime. Here, again, you can go to internal wall transparency. You know, looks really cool. Or we go to the external wall anytime. If you're with a client, that is so useful. You can show around, you can save those images, print them out, and Go from there. Last one here, beautiful. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this little coffee tip and I see you back next time. Bye for now.